Hi, it's Russ from Pro Tools Expert, and as you know, Logic X is now out. A lot of you in our survey have said that you'll be using Logic X and Pro Tools together, so one of the big questions is how do you synchronize the two together? So I'm going to do this tutorial uh, for those of you that do use Logic uh, to show you how to sync the two things together. So we're going to start in Pro Tools first and show you how it works in Pro Tools. Now the first thing you need to do is to come into Pro Tools, get your session set up, and you need to do a couple of things. You need to go into your setup and you need to go into peripherals and come into here and you get this synchronization tab here and you'll see this MIDI timecode reader port and MIDI timecode generator port. Now Pro Tools is going to be the master and Logic is going to be the slave. So what we want to do first is make sure uh, that that could be on any because we're not going to use that. We're going to use the generator port and we've got to come here and go to Pro Tools Logic IAC Bus 1. And what we mean by the IAC Bus 1 is if we come to the MIDI audio MIDI setup, which is part of Mac, uh, and we, we come in here. This is our MIDI studio setting. Now we have the audio, which you may have seen before, and the MIDI. And this is where I've set up my IAC bus. That's normally called IAC bus, but I've renamed it PT Logic. And I've got one port, and it's device online. So you need to be set up. You can call it what you like, but I've just called it PT Logic, so I know what I'm doing. And that's now set up to go. So that's going to be sending time code back in here through the peripherals, set up peripherals. PT Logic bus once. So that's where that is. Press OK. Now the second thing you have to do, and you have to make sure of, is you need to come into setup again. You need to come to session. And you need to make sure that all of these, you know what's going on. So it's a 44.1 kilohertz, 24-bit session. And session start time is 00, zero and its time code rate as well is because it's going to be using SMPTE, which is time code based, is is 25 frames FPS. So whatever they are set at, you need to do the same in Logic, otherwise it's, it's not going to work properly, it's not going to synchronize properly. Then the last thing you need to do here in Pro Tools is either on here, on your transport, or if you right mouse click here, and you see the synchronization tab, you need to turn this on, Gen MTC, which means generate MIDI timecode. That's going to send the MIDI timecode out of the IAC bus that we just created to Logic. So let's then go to Logic uh, X, and we're going to go File, we'll go New, so I'm going to use the drummer and open that up. So I've got the drum track now. Now that's just playing in Logic. It's not synced at the moment. So that's all working live. So the next thing you need to do is come up here, right mouse click here, customize control bar and display, and come down to sync. Hit sync there. OK. Then you'll see this one appear. Now if that's on, that's got to go online. So right mouse click, and you'll see it's simply sync now is MIDI timecode. Now come down to the settings here. This is so important. That frame rate has got to match that frame rate, which it does. But also, you see the start session is 000. This is at one hour at the moment, so we've got that to zero. So that's all started. Now the next thing I want to do as well is I want to make sure that, that is on bar two not on bar one. The reason I do that is because when MIDI timecode is sent, it takes a little while for it to pick up, you get a lag. So now we've got boom in here. And for a moment, I'm going to just turn the MIDI timecode off and play this. Let's go back again now, put the MIDI timecode on. And just to prove that that's working, move that down. There we go. It's all live as well. Now you might be asking me about how I'm doing the audio. Now I'm doing the audio because I've got Pro Tools and I've got Logic going through a mixer and they're, they're going through a, an external mixer. Now you could also uh, you then use aggregate device audio to get the if you want to bring the audio back into Pro Tools from Logic as a stereo pair or something, you could do that as well. Uh, but this is just about getting the synchronization with the MIDI timecode. So for those of you who are using both Logic and Pro Tools 11, Logic X and Pro Tools 11, that's how you synchronize the two of them together. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.